Its features include 20 different stitches, reverse sewing, adjustable high and low speed, sewing sleeves, automatic, built-in sewing light, thread cutter, drawer, change the presser foot to sew different fabrics and crafts. It's small size, but with multiple functions. You can use it to change the old cloth and make a unique new one, or make yourself a favorite pillow, small cloth for pets or dolls, a cute cup mat, curtains, bags, etc. It would be a good helper for your living. Now let's get started to know how to use the machine. Take up lever, thread tension tail, thread cut, light switch building sewing line, needle bar, needle clamp, thin book crew, bobbin cover plate. Big dogs, drawer, pattern selector tail, winding rod, bobbin winding stopper, hand wheel, reverse level, main switch, power on or off speed control switch, spool pin, foot control, power cord socket, carry handle, bobbin winder tension disc, presser foot lifter, presser foot release lever, presser foot screw, presser foot, threading the machine. Put a spool on the thread spindle. Pull the thread in counterclockwise so it passes through the bobbin winder tension disc. Down through the gap. Put it back up as the arrow shows. Go through the take-up lever from right to left. Then go through the hole next to the little clamp screw from up to down. Easily thread the needle by sticking a needle threader through the eye from back to front. Put the thread out about 15 centimeters. Caution! It's very important to thread in the correct way. Please follow each step carefully. Otherwise, the machine may not sew. Replacing the button bobbin. Raise the presser foot lifter. Slide the bobbin cover off and remove the empty bobbin. Put the new bobbin in the holder, with the thread going clockwise. Hold the needle thread with left hand, and right hand turn the hand wheel counterclockwise only one round. Then the needle thread will pick up the bobbin thread and put it up through the hole under the needle. Separate the two threads and put them to the back of the machine under the presser foot, leaving about 15 centimeters hanging there. Restore the bobbin cover. Caution. Always make sure the button thread is picked up from the hole under presser foot with about 50 cm hanging out in clockwise direction before you start to sew. Winding the button bobbin. Put a bigger thread spool on the spool bin. Put the thread around the bobbin winder tension disc. Then go through any one of the metal holes on the empty bobbin. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder pin. Push the bobbin towards the bobbin winder stop to fix the bobbin. Hold on to the thread. Turn the hand wheel anti-clockwise to wind the thread on the bobbin several circles. Cut off the thread tail, then turn on the power switch to start winding. When you have enough thread wood on, turn off the power switch to stop winding. Cut off the thread. Push the bobbin to the left away from the hand wheel and take the bobbin off, replacing the needle. Hold the old needle and loosen the needle clamp screw. Remove the needle and discard it responsibly. Insert the new needle into the clamp with the flat side of the needle toward the presser foot bar and push the needle all the way up. Then tighten the screw. Caution! Always turn off the switch and unplug the adapter before you change the needle. Make sure the new needle faces the right direction and the screw is tightened, replacing the presser foot. 1. Removing the presser foot. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise. Raise up the needle to its highest position. Raise the presser foot lifter and press the presser foot locking lever. Then presser foot will drop off automatically from the locking device. 2. Attaching the presser foot. Put the presser foot under the presser foot locking device. Lower the presser foot lifter. Connect the intermediate connecting shaft of locking device and groove on the presser foot. And lifting the presser foot lifter, the presser foot will engage automatically. Caution! If the foot has not been picked up, check to make sure the cutout 
is directly above the pin of the food and repeat the steps. Using the adapter and foot pedal, connect the adapter by inserting the jack plug into the DC input and the jack plug of foot pedal into the foot pedal input. Turn on the on or off button on right side. Press the presser foot. The machine will work automatically. Then you can use the foot pedal to control the machine instead of using the hand switch. More easier and convenient to operate. Caution! Make sure the foot pedal and adapter are unplugged from the machine when you're not using it. So the sewing machine won't accidentally start up sewing. One, first of all, turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to raise the needle to its highest position. Two, raise the presser foot lifter. Three, take off the sample fabric from left side of the machine and leave the thread about 15 cm. Four, place the fabric under the presser foot. Lower the presser foot. Five, turn the hand wheel counterclockwise two to three rounds to make sure there is no jamming in the stitches. Six, slide the power switch to the low or high speed position and the machine will automatically start sewing. We recommend the low speed for beginners. 7. Turn off the switch. Raise the needle up. Turn the pattern selection dial to the pattern stitch you want. 8. When you've finished sewing, turn off the switch. Turn the hand wheel to raise the needle up. Lift the press of it. And then gently remove the fabric from left. And cut the thread with a thread cutter. Caution! Before starting sewing, it is important to make sure the threading is correct. Otherwise, it may not sewing. Every time, turn the hand wheel should be in counterclockwise direction as the arrow shows. When you want to change the pattern stitch, stop sewing and turn the hand wheel to raise the needle all the way up so it doesn't get bent. If the thread is stuck during your sewing, please turn off the machine at once. Raise the presser foot lever. Gently put the fabric out. If the thread is entangled or fabric cannot be pulled out smoothly, Cut off the entangled thread. Turn the hand wheel back and forth. Then put out the fabric. Rethreading the machine. Be sure each step is correct and restart your sewing. Reverse sewing. To sew backwards, press and hold down the reverse lever while you're sewing. Caution! You should only use reverse sewing on straight stitches. 1 to 5. This is useful for reinforcing the seam, sewing sleeves, Remove away the drawer. Place the garment over the sewing arm. Then start the sew. Buttonhole sewing. 1. Change the foot to the buttonhole foot. 2. Pull the fabric under presser foot and lower down the presser foot lifter. Then choose the 19th stitch. Turn on the switch and sew 56 stitch in low speed. Then turn off switch. 3. Choose the 18th stitch. Turn on switch and sew on the fabric in suitable length. Then turn off switch. Note that try to keep sewing stitch in straight line. 4. Choose the 19th stitch to sew 56 stitch in low speed, then turn off switch. 5. Choose the 20th stitch, turn off switch. The machine will reverse sewing automatically. Turn off switch until the buttonhole is over sewed fully. Nailing button. Change the foot to nail button foot. Put the fabric under the presser foot. Put the button on the fabric when you need to nail the button. Move the fabric with button under presser foot. Check if they're under the right position, then lower down the presser foot. Choose the 19th stitch. Turn the hand wheel slowly, adjusting the position of the hole while the needle swinging around. Then turn on switch. So 4 to 5 stitch in low speed. Then turn off switch after done. If you want to nail cross line or a double line, doing the steps as above. Caution! Before nailing button, you must use hand to turn the hand wheel slowly and make sure the needle will only step into the button hole while swinging around in case of breaking the needle. Make sure the hole distance of the button you choose match the needle swinging when it's settled at 19th stitch. In case of nailing on the side of button will break the needle, adjusting stitching. If the top and button thread looks too tight or loose, you can turn the upper thread tension dial to adjust the stitching tense. When the top thread looks like a straight line, indicating can over tight top thread, turn the upper thread tension dial to a smaller number to reduce tension. 
different fabric with different tension. Turn the tension dial to a smaller number until the stitching back to normal. When the bottom thread looks like a straight line, indicating the top thread is too loose, turn the upper thread tension dial to a bigger number to increase tension. Different fabric with different tension. Turn the tension dial to a bigger number until the stitching back to normal. Now, in case you have trouble in using the machine, we will go over some common problems and the solutions. Important safety instructions. 1. Always disconnect from the power supply when changing the needle. 2. Children should only use the appliance with adult supervision. 3. Never run the machine when there is a thread in the needle, but no fabric on the machine. This could damage the machine. 4. Don't use the machine outdoors. 5. Whenever the sewing machine is not in use, make sure it is switched off and unplugged from the power supply. 6. Keep the machine in a dry and ventilated place. 7. This machine is not a toy. 8. Don't disassemble the machine unless you're professional. 9. Turn off switch and unplug the adapter when you're not using the machine.